Good day, everyone. I am Chief Engineer Ju Abogan. My video today is about how to pull out and overhaul the main engine piston of a ship. Please click the subscribe button so that you will be notified on my next videos. What is the purpose of overhauling the main engine piston? The purpose of overhauling the piston is when it is due for continuous machinery survey every five years. When it reaches the 8,000 to 12,000 running hours or as per maker's recommendation. When there is an abnormal sound or knocking inside the cylinder. When there is an abnormal temperature or overheating in that cylinder. Procedures of pulling out and overhauling the piston. Please play or follow the procedures in my previous video on how to prepare the main engine piston for overhauling. Personal protective equipment, PPE to use. Safety shoes, hearing protection, boiler shot, hard hat, protection gloves, wear plastic goggles during removing carbon deposits. Procedures of pulling up and pulling out and overhauling the piston. Remarks, different engine makers have different procedures in this assembly and assembly of components. They use also different special tools. <coughs> engine makers are M-A-N-B-N-W, or Silas Solcer, M-A-K Deutsch, Mitsubishi, MTU, Cummins, Daihatsu, Caterpillar, Yanmar, Rolls Royce, and so forth. Procedures of pulling out and overhauling the piston. In the cylinder pour piston overhaul, close the bulbs for press water pulling, fuel oil, cylinder oil, lubricating oil, and air starting system. Procedures of pulling out and overhauling the piston. Let's go to the removing the cylinder cover. Number one, remove the high pressure injection pipe between the fuel injection pump and fuel valve. Number two, 
remove the bolts connecting the cylinder cover and exhaust receiver or exhaust manifold. Number three, remove the pipe connected to the starting valve. Using the hydraulic tool, remove the cylinder cover nuts. Using the overhead crane, lift the cylinder cover with the shackle and lifting the sling tool. Number six, mark the position of the cylinder cover steel ceiling ring. Then remove the ceiling ring. Now let's go to pulling out the piston. Number one, remove or open the door of the crankcase. Number two, move the piston rod down to have access with the piston rod stopping box. Number three, release the stopping box by removing the bolts of the stopping box plunge. Number four, remove the bolts between the piston rod and crosshead. <laughs> Number five, move the piston at top dead center or TDC. Check the position of the stopping box and the piston rod is good. Number six, check on the fly field mark to ensure that the piston is at top dead center. We are still on the pulling out of the piston. Number seven, <laughs> clean the carbon deposit and the slot for the lifting tool and the piston crown. Install the piston lifting tool on top of the piston crown. Number nine, lift the piston upward from the cylinder liner and bring it down on the space provided and the cylinder cover flat. Number 10, lower the piston, piston rod with the stopping box at the opening of the cylinder cover platform. Number 11, remove the lifting tool from the piston crown. Number 12, Install the cover at the opening of the stopping box below the cylinder liner. Number 13, remove the carbon accumulation on the top of the cylinder liner by electric wire brush or sander. Number 14, clean the cylinder liner bore. 15, take measurements of the cylinder liner bore. Sixteen, 
before removing the piston rings from the piston crown. Make sure all the piston ring up by a vernier caliper and record it. Seventeen. Using the ring expander, remove the old piston rings. Eighteen. Clean the piston ring rubs and piston ring lamps. Clean and measure the piston rings height and thickness and record it. Number 19, clean the piston crown with the scrapers and electric wire brush to remove carbon deposits. Check and measure the piston ring ropes. Now let's go to the assembling and mounting the piston. Number one, using the ring expander, install the piston rings with the top mark upward. Number two, the piston ring gap should be staggered at 180 degrees. Number three, measure the burn away on the piston crown concave top using the measuring template. Now we are still on the assembling and mounting the piston number four. Mount the lifting tool on top of the piston crown. Number five, remove the cover from the piston rod opening and the bottom of the cylinder liner. Number six, put grease on the stopping box ceiling ring. Number seven, clean the piston rod. Lubricate the piston rod with lubricating oil. Number eight, mount the guide ring tools or piston rings on top of the cylinder liner. Number nine, before installing the piston into the liner, crank the cylinder lubricator manually and check the eight holes, four upper holes and four lower holes of the cylinder liner wheels. Check that the cylinder oil are coming out freely from the eight holes. Number 10, lift and lower the piston into the cylinder liner. Number 11, before the piston rings and thirst, the guide ring tool, lubricate the piston rings with lubricating oil. Number 12, guide the piston rod on the opening of the stopping box flange. Number 13, 
13, land the piston rod on top of the crosshead. Number 14, remove the lifting tool on top of the piston crown. Number 15, remove the guide ring tool on top of the cylinder liner. Sixteen, lubricate the top side of the piston with lubricating oil. Seventeen, move the piston some more down by the turning gear. Eighteen, mount the bolts on the stopping box plunge. 19, install the bolts of the piston rod and tighten it. Lock the bolts with locking wire. Notes, all bolts and nuts should be tightened with the tightening torque as is specified on the engine maker's manual. and all measurements should be within the tolerable limits specified by the engine makers. Let's go to the mounting of the cylinder cover. Number one, clean the cylinder cover with combustion side with carbon deposit. Number two, install the cylinder cover ceiling ring as per this cross mark. Number three, install the cylinder cover. Number four, tighten the cylinder cover nuts with the hydraulic tool. Number five, install the high pressure injection pipe between the fuel injection pump and fuel valve. Number six, connect the bolts connecting the cylinder cover and exhaust receiver or exhaust manifold. Number seven, connect the pipe connected to the starting valve. Procedures of pulling out and overhauling the piston. After completion of the mounting of the piston, cylinder cover, and piping connections. We start all pumps like the lubricating oil pump, pulling fresh water pump, fuel oil pump, we starting air system, and check for leakages. Check the lubrication of the crankshaft and journals inside the crankcase.
if time permits, during break time, of distributors coordinate with the master to test the main engine ahead and astern. This is the end of my video. Thank you for watching. You must have to watch my previous videos to complete your knowledge. Please click the subscribe button so that you will be notified on my next videos. Bye bye. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.